uh, we will talk about the applications applications of uniform circular motion means we will be describing just the few examples uh, from everyday life for the uniform circular motion actually there are various examples for the uniform circular motion for example uh, motion of hands motion of hands on the clock I will discuss in uh, this in uh, one of the questions or problems, numerical problems for after this uh, lecture. Uh, motion of hands on the clock. There can be suppose uh, another thing is motion of the satellites. We suppose the orbit of satellites or circle motion of satellites. Uh, satellites can be artificial, satellites can be natural also, uh, but they are all, also uh, always in uniform circular motion, motion of satellites. Third one, most important thing I will discuss, the motion of a conical pendulum. I will discuss these two, conical pendulum and band angles. Although there can be other, uh, other various applications, for example, uh, the motion of a Ferris wheel, although it is in vertical circle, but it is, uh, when it is moving with constant velocity, it can come in a uniform circular motion. Uh, even the uh, wall clock, when the wall clock is affixed in the wall, its hands uh, change its position or their height changes. Uh, but it, it's the vertical circle, but the vertical circle of uniform circular motion, that is of course, uh, because the speed remains constant so most uh, these are the few things I will be discussing this chap in chapter gravitational fields chapter uh, complete satellites where we have discussed and I will discuss this uh, numerical problem here I am just discussing the few other uh, conical pendulum and the bent angles first the conical pendulum what is a conical pendulum actually conical pendulum is the pendulum uh, in which a pendulum is just tied with the stain it is tied here okay and it it forms just like a motion in the vertical, uh, but in the circle like this one. It moves in that circle. That's a, uh, a horizontal circle. Always its a, a height from this ground remains constant. Uh, so let us see uh, how a conical pendulum moves. Uh, I'm sorry for my bad drawing, but the three dimensional thing, it will be very difficult to uh, describe uh, or write it completely, but I'm supposing uh, I'll try my best to draw the things. Suppose this is a conical pendulum. Uh, this is, and this is the ground from the ground. It, this is a horizontal position. It is moving in a circle like this one. Uh, this is the stain of this one. It's moving in that one circle. This is the radius of the circle in which it is moving. Now, this angle is theta here. This is the tension T in the stain. Here is the weight. Uh, so mg of the bob is downward, this is the vertical, if this is theta, this also must be theta. So if I want to um, uh, draw the, uh, find the components of this tension T, how I will find the components and tension T here, if suppose if this is T, I can find from here on here, it's up to you, if this component, if this is theta, this is T. Always the opposite is sine, so this one must be sine t sine theta, and here must be t cos theta. So this t is resolved into two components t sine theta and t cos theta. I can simplify the things here. Uh, this is the uh, here the center of the circle O. Uh, this is the mass mg here downward, and this is here t cos theta, and this is here t sine theta. So the force which is responsible for providing the centripetal force is clearly T sine theta. I can say T sine theta is equal to M V square upon R, where M is the mass of the bar, V is the speed um, in which it is moving in a unif uh, in a circle constant speed, R is the radius of the circle which is it is moving. Since making a cone, if you think it's just making a cone, so that's why it's known as a conical pendulum. It's known as a conical pendulum. It's making a cone. So for conical pendulum, let's see what the equation is. T sine theta is equal to m square upon r and this t cos theta is equal to mg. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. I am dividing one equation by equation 2. Uh, I get t sine theta upon t cos theta. 
is equal to mv square upon r divided by mg. So this will be t to cancel this t tangent theta is equal to mv square upon r into 1 upon mg. m is cancelled with m, so this becomes tangent theta is equal to v square upon r. So this is the formula for conical pendulum ka tangent theta is equal to v square upon rg. Uh, what is the theta? Theta is the angle which is uh, which uh, uh, this bob makes with the vertical uh, tangent theta and v is the speed in which the bob is moving with constant velocity speed. R is the radius of the circle which is describing and g is the excitation due to gravity. From this we can always, uh, always find the velocity or whatever the factors are given we can find always the third factor. This is the equation for the conical pendulum. And now I will discuss the banked angles. Actually, what are the banked angles? Uh, when the cars move in a circular arc, it's part of an arc, uh, part of a circle, arc is part of a circle, and it can be flat or it can be banked. First, the flat circular arc. Flat circular arc, when it's a flat circular arc, what happens there? Uh, suppose in a flat circular arc, the arc is but it's the flat circle so uh, let us see suppose the arc is like this one here in the flat way and this one is the car uh, this is the car suppose I'm just trying to buy a point its weight is supposed downward its weight is downward its normal reaction force will always be up up the plane this uh, this is up the plane of the uh, surface and this this is the force of friction which is toward the center of the circle. I can always say this is the center of the circle force of friction. In other words, if suppose uh, center is here, its weight will be mg downward. This is the normal reaction force of the surface, uh, like this one. Uh, if this is a curve, like the normal reaction force like upward here, uh, in three dimension. <coughs> and this is the force of friction. Now clearly this force of friction F provides the centripetal force and F is equal to mv square upon r. If coefficient of static friction is known, then m is equal to, uh, sorry, then I can say F will be equal to mu n. So I can find the mu, I, I can find the n, I can, and n will always be equal to mg. So I can say F will always be equal to mu mg. If mu is known, force of friction can be found, then the speed, the safe speed can be found. If the um, car overturns from that safe speed, then, uh, Clearly, uh, it will fall because uh, for outside and uh, if force, for, uh, force of friction is sub, uh, actually supplied by that one. Uh, if uh, it becomes so speedy, then it can overturn also. Uh, but now the case is, although here the force of friction is present and it's a flat circular arc, force of friction supplies the centripetal force. But suppose if there is no force of friction, for example, uh, the road becomes, there is a snowfall and the snow is there, or the road uh, raining is there, it becomes so wet, so the either friction is reduced or there is less friction. Or the, uh, so what happens in that case? Uh, so uh, what will be, will the flat circular arc safe in that case? The answer is no. Flat circular arc will not be safe in that case, and in that case, uh, the uh, that's why, uh, you never know whether there is a raining or whether there can be snowing. So always the civil engineers bank these angles. Uh, uh, there are banked angles on our car bank. Actually one portion is down, another portion is up. So they become just like an angle. Just like this duster. See suppose it's the banked angle, this one. This is our curve cycle. This is down, this is up. So always a uh, curve uh, angle is to be said. This is the banked angle, this one. This is the banked angle, three dimension. Or you can say take this one. Uh, will be the banked angle. These angles are very much visible when you cross the overbridge of a highway and uh, you see there is a roundabout uh, circle, a big, uh, very large circle is there and you will see the angle, banked angle clearly in those parts. Uh, now let us see how the banked angles to work and how can we say, uh, for example, if suppose uh, if this is the case, Okay, uh, 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 this is the car, suppose, this is the car, a point, I'm just discussing it, a point, and this is the bank angle theta. Circle, it's arc of a circle, it's my, the center of the circle is here. Now, its weight is acting downward here, 
weight of the car W is equal to mg. This is the normal to the surface n. Now if I move it here, uh, you will see if this is theta, this should also be theta. This is theta and this will also be theta. Now if this is theta, uh, this normal component n can be resolved into component. Do not resolve weight here. You have to resolve it. normal component, do not resolve weight. Resolve normal component into its uh, connectable component. So uh, this must be perpendicular, must be drawn over here. Uh, like this one, perpendicular must be drawn here. It's 90 degrees, this one and this force. Uh, when this is uh, adjacent to this one, so this will be n cos theta and this will be n sin theta here. Now clearly the center of the circuit is n sin theta, it is directed towards here. This n sin theta, I'm sorry, given diagram is not perfect. This one, not static. N sin theta, this is supposed to center of the circle, the arc is this one. So I can say this n sin theta is directed toward the center. It, it provides, it is providing the centripetal force, no friction at all here. Uh, so uh, dang angles are always made so that if there is no friction, then even it is safe to uh, ride on those curves or arc of the circles. Uh, let us see now if I can simply write it here. Suppose this is the point of the car. Here is the MD. Here is the MD. Now here this one is N cos theta and here is N sin theta and this is the circle, uh, this is the circle and this suppose uh, it is the banked angle is like this and circuit uh, car is moving in this bank and like this one. Okay, this is the center of uh, this is the radius r of the circle from up to here. Yeah. Now I can clearly say okay, n sine theta is equal to mv square of r. You can resolve this n into component n sine theta and cos theta. n sine theta is equal to mv square upon r and n cos theta is equal to mg. I can divide equation 1 by equation 2. This is n sine theta upon n cos theta is equal to mv square upon r divided by mg. n is cancelled, this becomes tangent theta is equal to mv square upon r into 1 upon mg. m is cancelled with m, so tangent theta is equal to v square upon rg. So this shows us that the banked angles uh, speed is always same and depends upon the banked angle only safe speed v at the maximum speed maximum safe speed is v uh, theta is the angle banked angle r the radius of the r and g is the acceleration due to gravity so this tells us that the speed cannot speed doesn't depend upon the mass of the body if this would have been said then we would have uh, just given the different uh, uh, speed limits uh, written on the arc of the curve. Okay, suppose this is the mass of the body, its speed will be this. This is the mass of the body, its speed will be this. But since it doesn't, speed doesn't depend upon the mass, that's why we do not have the different speed limits, but the same one speed limit is set, uh, even if it's for the banked curve. So banked curves are very safe as compared to flat curves. For flat curves, uh, force of friction plays an important role and uh, for a flat, see the difference this is the flat curve for flat curve force of friction is the center of here center is here this is the normal reaction n this is mg and here n is equal to mg and this f is equal to mv square upon r and I can say f will be equal to mu n this is for the flat curve when it's a flat curve when there's no banked angle but suppose if there's a banked angle Bank angle is like suppose this one. This is the bank angle. Bank angle is there, and this is the mass. Uh, this is the normal reaction n, and this is the weight here. So uh, this component and this this is n cos theta. This is theta, and this will be n sin theta. This n sin theta provides the centripetal force, which is uh, the arc centers here. N sin theta, and this W is balanced by this one. Uh, I can say for the bank curves. This is a flat curve. Bank curve, I can say if this is the body, this one is mg, this one is n cos theta, and here is n sin theta. n is the normal force, there is no force of friction. This n sin theta is equal to mv square upon r, which provides a centripetal force, and this n cos theta 
is equal to mg. Dividing by 1 by 2, we get always tangent theta is equal to v square upon rg. What is theta? Theta is the bend angle. V is the, max, v is the maximum safe speed. Um, what do you mean by maximum safe speed? Means suppose for a bank angle, the speed is 30 meters per second, maximum. Now, if you go less than 30, it's okay. If you go less than 30 meter per second, 20 meter per second, 40 meter per second. But if you are suppose over over speeding, suppose 40 meter per second, then it's not safe. You may be your car may be overturned. So that's the maximum safe speed. R is the radius of the circle. Radius of the circle of the arc and G is the acceleration due to gravity, R is the state of the gravitational field.